I'm a nobody. Why should someone sit here and watch this video? Well, because they're learning something from it. Just like if you were to walk someone, you know, on the street, like you'll see them and do they have something good to say? Are you learning from it? Then yes, then I want to sit there and I want to talk to you and I want to learn more. But if you're just sitting there talking about yourself, telling me about these things that really just have to do with you. Hi ladies, welcome back. Today we're discussing how to get PR packages from brands under 400 followers. The reason that I wanted to make this video is because that's exactly where I was just at. Under 400 followers, probably like a month ago or so and it's just been insane to see how many PR packages have been coming in this month it's like surreal I just keep thinking what is going on so I would love to help someone that has been in that position I'm at 700 followers now on my TikTok but it's just been a wild ride and I just wanted to share my experience and hopefully if you're at the beginning and be on this ride together I have these packages that I have received that I have not made content on yet I did make content on this one but like I'm still waiting to make content on these packages and it's crazy me getting packages i have 400 followers like what is happening i wanted to make a video just to say the things that i've been doing that have helped me get these pr brands who send me pr packages so let's get right into it this is not going to be a step-by-step -step. this is how you use social media although if you want that type of step-by-step -step, that's a separate video today we're talking about pr packages and just something that you can be doing for brands to notice you the first thing that i want to say is i've started posting a long time ago i've had a youtube channel for a long time so I practice what it's like to be in front of a camera so it's not just that I just began a month ago and wow like this has happened this has been years it's just it hasn't been consistent I've started I've stopped I feel like this time around I just want to be super consistent and I want to stay true to myself and this is the first time that I've stayed consistent and I've actually seen brands recognize my work one thing that I have seen that gets more views and just really gets me to build a community is to understand that I'm a nobody so why should somebody watch me like you just came to this video and you're like I don't know this girl why should I give her the time of day you just saw my TikTok. I don't know this person's scroll like it's not someone that I follow it's not someone do I care to listen to what she has to say and that's what you need to think about when you're making a video you need to think about how you're helping that person on the other end because they don't know you so why should they support you why should they watch your video after I learned okay I'm a nobody why should someone sit here and watch this video well because they're learning something from it just like if you were to walk someone you know on the street like you'll see them and do they have something good to say are you learning from it then yes then I want to sit there and I want to talk to you and I want to learn more but if you're just sitting there talking about yourself telling me about these things that really just have to do with you I don't care like I'm sorry I don't know you I don't care now if you've built a brand for yourself now I'm invested now I want to know why you're doing this why you're doing that because you've created a brand for yourself at the beginning you have to get super creative series are a huge thing on TikTok a lot of people love series because it's just like you're watching you know episodes or like from a Netflix show or something like that but you can't do that at the beginning you need a certain amount of followers for you to start doing series so what I did is maybe even reply to myself step two part two and then I would add a video on there so it would kind of be like a series so if you ran into my first video you saw it you liked it you see in the comment oh there's a part two okay because people don't want to do the work they don't know me why would they even want to waste time clicking on my profile but this video just came on their FYP so now I'm there now they're in my comment section they see another video they're invested they want to see part two and boom you're creating a funnel because now people are watching watching all of it let's say in video two I put oh here's part three now people are clicking on part three and boom you've created a funnel people are watching your video maybe they learn something from you boom you just got yourself a follower I love this strategy because it creates engagement because there's comments people start commenting you can reply to them but it also builds a community now when people start commenting on you one thing that I really love doing is if someone comments on my video then I will reply with a video because it makes them feel special like wow she took the time answer my question but also to make a video about about it especially if it's a well-crafted video wow thank you so much for taking the time to reply to my comment with a video like this is how you're building a community because you're focusing on what your audience wants and you're honing in to what people want to see from you the second thing that is super super important is to take content creation seriously from day one make your profile look like your portfolio everything that you make you should be proud of now at the beginning I started posting a whole bunch of stuff just really random stuff I just wanted to see like what editing style I like I wanted to see what clips I like I wanted to see what angles I like so just experiment nobody's watching your stuff nobody's commenting so experiment this is the time for us to experiment what we like at some point we're gonna find an editing style that we like find a filming style that we like and by that point hopefully we have a community and we can give them more of what they like because we have figured out the voice for ourselves you want to make content that you are proud of so let's say a brand comes to your page you want to make sure that you have your email on there because this is how they're 
they're gonna send you stuff like they need to have a way to reach you the next thing is you want to be posting things that brands can see themselves so let's say that let's say that I have a foundation at home that I already own that I love and I just want to make a video about it so I'm gonna this was not a PR box this is a foundation that I have at home that I already love I'm gonna create a good good quality video so that when brands come to my page that's the example that they are seeing oh okay this is what she can do for us if you're just making he he ha ha videos like that are just kind of funny and like there's no really purpose behind growing them as a business then brands are not going to really want to send you something because they can't see themselves within your videos because you're not showing them what you're capable of so take content creation seriously from the beginning if you want to make some type of money out of it and if that's your goal if you just wanted to have fun then you wouldn't be watching this video third thing to remember is we have to be part of that community we have to build a community from some i wish that this happened to me that i just posted a video and i had all these comments flooding me with all this but it doesn't happen like that i started putting a timer on my phone and i'm like okay i'm gonna engage for five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever i have i'll time it all i'm doing is just scrolling and commenting i would do this every single day and then i started finding my tribe so now when i comment on someone then it's usually someone that i know and they will go into my video and comment on my recent one and, and these girls are amazing i love the community that i've built on tiktok because they're so so supportive and i support them back like that's the important thing i upload a video and i don't tell them hey please go like please go comment no they naturally see my content they will comment on it or i will naturally see their video and we kind of show each other support like that so you have to be a good community member you can't just post and then expect all these comments to flood you when you don't even participate in helping other creators grow their accounts as well the important thing about watching other creators as well is that one you're supporting them but two you're also learning from them like you, we are beginners so we only know so much but if you're watching other people in this community you're learning how are they captivating people when they don't have a big following just like us like we don't have a big following so we can learn from our co-creators what are they doing to catch people's attention with when they don't even have a big following how are they editing like we can learn from them actually being part and trying to incorporate yourself in a community so that you can learn from them and you can give value to them and that they can give value to you back by this point when you realize one i'm a nobody i need to be giving people value they don't know me so how can i give these people value so that they can find my page so that they can follow me two you want to take content creation seriously so start making good content with whatever you have at home like just get whatever you have at home start making content like that thirdly be a community member find people out there engage with them and they will engage back with you and make it look natural don't just like someone or comment a heart like actually engage with this person and watch their videos even if it's on 2x comment about something that happened in the middle of the video so that they actually know that you're actually supporting them and you're not just liking it scrolling away that is not being a good community member if you see something that you like reshare it we're gonna do that for your videos as well if you support them in that way all of this should lead you to starting to get pr brands because brands are seeing that one you are posting quality content two you have a community that supports you and thirdly you are the person that they want representing their brand once you start receiving brand deals or brand collaboration opportunities i will say that just be careful and don't say yes to every collaboration that you get in your inbox because it is so important to build a foundation that's strong and that's truthful and that's honest with your morals because if you're thinking about this as a long-term career then you don't want to just say yes to every brand that comes because you want to get free stuff you don't need a lot of clutter you don't need a you don't need a lot of stuff like just create content with the stuff that you have say yes to the brands that you truly feel like you like brands that you would be proud of saying hey guys like you should buy this product because i really like it don't just say yes just to get a deal don't just say yes just to get free stuff like you have stuff at home already that you can use i have said no to a lot of free pr because it just doesn't align with my values it doesn't align with my morals i like to do a lot of clean beauty i don't always use clean beauty i use like my mascara i love it it's not clean beauty so if they were to reach out to me i'd say yes because it'd be a genuine collaboration because i'm like yeah you know although i love to present clean beauty and to show clean beauty i don't use everything clean beauty i would be willing to use this because i really love it but other than that i really like to stick to my clean beauty niche something else is like i've gotten offers for food and i'm like well i haven't really tried you so what if it tastes bad and now i'm on the hook and i need to post about you if i oh it tastes it really bad it's like i've gotten stuff for contacts i've never in my life had the urge to wear colored contacts i have used 
prescription contact and I would use that in the future if someone reached out to me. But colored contacts is just not really my thing. Like I love my brown eyes, especially after I had my daughter. Part of her that I love. So now I love my brown eyes even more because my daughter has brown eyes. A collaboration like that, I replied to them and I was like, hey, sorry, this doesn't really align with my brand. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for considering me for this opportunity. But I said no to them. I've gotten reached out for a cat litter. I don't have a cat, so why would I? get litter for a cat so stuff like that don't just say yes to everything stick to your morals to your values and to the brand that you are trying to build right now like i said i'm at 700 followers on tiktok but when i started getting pr it was at like 400 something followers it's just crazy to think that i can get that i've gone in all these boxes so far from all these brands and i think that that's why brands have wanted to give me this opportunity because they see it's not about the number that i have it's about the strong foundation that I'm building and I hope that you keep that in mind I hope that this video helps I hope that you get something out of it if you have any questions drop them down in the comments we are learning as we go I'd be more than happy to help you with anything that I can see you in the next one thank you so much